Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and as you probably know I'm the airline pilot and let's review this accident story of Boeing 757-200 of DHL Expresso Airlines on flight from San Jose Airport in Costa Rica. So passing flight level 210 they uh, declared that they had some problems with hydraulic system and after diverting back to their original airport San Jose they tried to land on runway 07 with tailwind and also they excurted the runway to the side and the airplane as you can see it sustained some of the damage so let's review the video and after that we're gonna speak about this particular accident okay here's probably some spotter filming wonderful airplane i like it all right what we can see that the airplane is controllable it is going for landing the landing gear is down and uh, the flaps are also down the landing edge devices as well however i can see that the flaps are not in landing position so probably flaps 20 they use for this kind of approach i'm not the 757 pilot i fly the boeing 737 however the logic and philosophy is the same so if you lose the hydraulic system beyond boeing 737 that's um uh, also comparable with the Boeing 757 it also has three hydraulic systems so if you lose the hydraulic system for your flaps you need to extend them in alternate way for Boeing 737 we use the electrical motors to extend the flaps on Boeing 757 I don't know I'm not sure so they use probably the alternate method for that and you can of course lower the landing gear without any hydraulic system just a gravity fall you just extend and pull some of the uh, levers there in the cockpit and you extend them uh, manually so they landed somewhere and that's the landing roll itself the airplane is somewhere there let's go they're rolling rolling and Probably gonna stop it. I can already see the spoilers. So here we can we can see that all spoilers from this perspective. Probably I'm not I say again I'm not familiar with the Boeing 757. We can see spoilers here here. I can try to skip a little bit and the same spoilers there and there flight spoilers and ground spoilers probably we are missing some section over there so probably just one hydraulic system uh, failed because as on Boeing 77 with a failure of one hydraulic system uh, you will not have all spoilers deflected upon landing so I would admit that they lost just one hydraulic system uh, because they were able to control the airplane and land it. Yeah, we have st standby um, emergency, let's say, systems to control the airplane if you lose all the hydraulic system. But um, I think that because they have the this kind of spoilers upon landing, and uh, I think the system they lost just one system. It's decelerating and yeah i cannot see the reverse on the left hand engine but uh, i wonder if there oh there is the reverse as you can see the aft part of the engine a little bit extended so they had the reverse thrust uh, the reverse deployed on a right hand engine and there as you can see <laughs> wow my friends the smoke is going from the wheels it means that the brake is very sufficient for this airplane yeah they have sufficient brakes the brakes are really hot right now oh my god i was able to see also some of the debris uh, from the wheels you know and now they're going a little bit to the right i wonder why That was the drift. That was a drift. And probably I was able to see also. Sorry, I'm gonna go back. Probably we had the positive thrust from engine number one. It was significant, probably. Look from this perspective. I, I just look at the smoke. It's blown. It's the smoke is blown away. Wow! It has significant. It 
has significant thrust uh, asymmetry, I think. If you look at the smoke from the brakes, just look at this, wow. So that's why probably they were drifting, because of the thrust asymmetry. I wonder why it happened, but it looks like it. And fire brigade went there right away. Good, good job from the fire brigade. I don't know about the pilot so far. <laughs> we need to wait for more information from the flight data recorder, but this accident will provide us with all detailed information because, yeah, you can definitely take the cockpit voice recorder, the flight data recorder uh, from this aircraft. It didn't sustain dramatic damage, I would say. In general, it's the it's not the passenger plane, if you're watching this video. It's the cargo plane, my friends, so no worries. And this is the job uh, of fire brigade. That's what they do there. They're putting a film over the wing and fuselage. You can see there is no fire. They were lucky about it. Uh, so pilots are located through the stair. They actually have you have the special location row. But yeah, if you don't have the fire, maybe you should wait for the stairs. It will be more safe for you to locate from the cockpit. And yeah, nice cars nice trucks they have in uh, san jose airport costa rica the other perspective you can see the tail part separated the fuselage sustained uh, yeah, this airplane will be written off for sure my friends you can still take some parts of the airplane avionics is intact of course and maybe apu the engines were damaged obviously maybe nose landing gear etc but of course this airplane will be written off why did it happen well let's go to some analysis all right my friends so this is the scheme of boeing 757 200 hydraulic system and don't look at it as on picasso picture because uh, i will try to explain everything to you so basically we have yeah i have this red arrow to explain to show you so basically we have left and right main systems and we have some sort of standby center system i understand it like that because on boeing 737 we have similar a b and standby systems uh, what else well i think they lost the left one this system is interconnected but also uh, separated uh, if you have hydraulic leak from any of those you can simply operate the other system that's the safe uh, philosophy of any kind of airplane so i think they had the problems with the left system because they lost i think they were uh, unable to uh, approach and land with the flaps in landing position so they probably lost the control the main control of those uh, flaps and slats so they use some sort of standby source to activate uh, to extend the flaps to flaps 20 normally use i think flaps 25 or flaps 30 for Boeing 757 but obviously for me I think it's like that uh, based on a picture I saw they landed with the flaps 20 that is not normal for the situation so they probably had and I'm almost sure they had the problems with this part of hydraulic system that system uh, contains lots of and actually majority of the hydraulic flu fluid because uh, to operate huge flaps and slats you need lots of hydraulic uh, that's why they also lost some of the spoilers as for me it was very clear that uh, part of the ground spoilers were not deployed i think it was like that i'm not typewriting on the airplane they also lost a uh, left thrust reverser so on the picture you could clearly see uh, that the, the engine uh, was out of the reverse and engine number two the right hand engine had the reverse because it is supplied from the right hydraulic system so right thrust reverser was active and was working from this side and we have also left thrust reverser that wasn't working so this one lacking in spoilers uh well your denver can be supplied with the help of central system alternate brakes we don't need them but also we lost the nose wheel steering which is the critical pardon me if i'm wrong but it seems like for me on this airplane we do not have the alternate nose wheel steering which is actually well it's okay maybe you don't usually have those malfunctions and probably you'll able to control the airplane on landing 
but uh, I would like to have the turning nose wheel steering. Well, Boeing 757 is quite old airplane. Maybe by those times they would not require to have the turned nose wheel steering. But I would be happy again. <laughs> I'm tell to you, I'll be happy to have the turned nose wheel steering just to control the airplane direction in case in those kind of cases. You see, the biggest question for me is why did they have the positive uh, thrust on number one engine from the left hand side? Maybe the thrust wasn't deployed, the thrust arrestor wasn't deployed and uh, then you pull the thrust, you have the positive thrust, I don't know, I'm not the Boeing 757 pilot, sorry my friends, obviously they had a uh, right hand engine working fine with a reverse thrust but I could clearly see on a video that they had the positive thrust on left hand engine and maybe that created this moment that they excurted the runway so maybe that was the problem about the wheels they were okay until the final stop of the airplane so there was no uh, tire problems until the final end and I will show you why all right guys we are on off herald website we have all the basic information about this accident and I will highly recommend you to visit this website for the recent updates and all the information available for specific accident or incident so here we go that's the video I was looking at we have different perspectives we have some of the pictures and we have even the final stop of the airplane so I was speaking about the wheels and here in a picture you are able to see that all the wheels were uh, were okay until the final stop of the airplane you can see we had we have even the trace of the rubber on the taxiway it's actually here on the taxiway they excurred the runway and went over here the other possibility well I, I i don't think it's real like the pilots were so close to their um, final marking that there's the uh displaced threshold and they saw that okay we are approaching the marking so should we vacate why um, high speed taxiway here but i don't think it's uh, really in case of emergency you just stop um, lining up with the runway i don't think that's um, the crew who did this who excursed the runway i don't think it's real but if, if it's real i would be really surprised if they would uh vacate the runway in that kind of emergency conditions if i would lose my nose wheel steering i would stop try to keep the center line until the final stop uh, well if they done uh, like that uh, i would be very very surprised so probably the engines are okay from what i see probably just a problem with could be problem with engine cowling but actually they are lifted up a little bit they hit the ground over here uh, but obviously it could be much worse but I think it's also could be much better in that case um, so DHL IR Express Boeing 757-200 this is a registration San Jose flight level 210 declared Mayday due to hydraulic failure aircraft enter holding so yeah you usually declare Mayday then you have really big troubles uh, with the airplane if i would lose this system on boeing 737 i would probably declare pan pan not the mayday because you still can fly the airplane well if the runway length uh length distance let's say is the factor uh if you overweight and you are not sure whether you're gonna make it with the runway uh so in that case of course obviously you need to declare the mayday because you uh, use lower flap settings than usual uh, probably they declare maybe maybe they lost the all kind of hydraulics and with the help of uh, red uh, ram air turbine they were only able to extend everything and land I don't know we don't know so far for sure but could be that and in that case of course it's a good result of uh, outcome on Boeing 737 we don't do not have the uh, ram air turbine we have the manual reversion mode that allows you to land the airplane safely it will be harder than usual since controlling the airplane with no hydraulics is kind of mm, unusual but we we usually go to the flight simulators and we have this exercise once in a while to practice uh, 
the manual reversion mode, mode on Boeing 737. That's why I like that airplane, because even if you lose uh, everything, uh, hydraulic engines, uh, electrical system, everything, you'll be able to fly that airplane. Uh, Boeing 757 has this uh, ram air turbine. Um, okay, crew lost control of the aircraft. Okay, what else? Departure of the touchdown, the crew lost control of the aircraft and then spun around and went over the runway, causing the aircraft to break into two parts. Both main gear struts collapsed, obviously. The crew was able to exit the aircraft. Uh, nice outcome no one was uh, everyone was okay let's say no one was really hurt and um, everyone survived that's why i'm doing some kind of speculation about this topic uh, even before we have some investigation if someone loses life in those kind of accidents i will keep calm and i'll wait for the final result here i can some sort of speculate for this kind of video what uh, is interesting for me uh, that the wind was uh, 2408 knots and they were approaching runway uh, 07 that's clearly the tailwind and then they approached they, they then they contact with the tower they were told wind 250 degrees 10 knots so obviously uh, tailwind 10 knots uh, very very interesting for the runway choose probably San Jose is not easy airport to land maybe they have just uh, this direction for runway 07 is prioritized prioritized uh, ahead of runway 25 maybe it's easier to approach from this direction tell me in the comment section if you ever flown to this airplane because i can see there are mountains terrain uh, around this airport probably approaching from the sea is the good decision even with the 10 knots of tailwind that's what they've done and my friends uh, as always uh, you may support this channel on the patreon because youtube uh, doesn't like this kind of uh, videos about incidents and accidents and crashes so you may support me on the patreon or on paypal all of the links um, down below in the video description i'm in ukraine i'm not flying right now because the airspace is closed so the only income source for me and for my family comes from youtube channel and also i spent part of the money from patreon for charity i will keep my eyes on this accident and uh, as usual for the awesome gadget this first just like this video after that subscribe to my channel and finally ring the bell whatever it means thank you very much for watching this video and have a great time